what look are we going for you? Let's do a classic look, something timeless, maybe a lip, a little eyeliner. Perfect, okay, all right, so the classic look. Actually, we can do quite a thick eyeliner, and I'll show you how to do that. And you've got beautiful lashes, and then a classic red mouth. Yeah, that would be great. And we can strengthen your brows. That would be good. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna do a really soft foundation. Very light dusting of powders so it looks glowy and natural. I like to comb down so you can see the shape. And I'm gonna strengthen it underneath in this area here. And then down here. And then when you comb it up, it's stronger, but you don't see it because it's hidden. And I prefer using powder because it's softer and it looks more natural. I'm gonna start with a line because I wanna work out where the shape is. Okay. So what I do is I usually take powder and sometimes it's easier if you just lift the lid a little bit so it pulls it away from the lash line. So you just have to go back and forth testing the line and then opening and closing the eyes. Okay, I take an eyeliner. Now this one, it's like a felt pen. Bounce over to the mascara, right in the root, so lift up so that you can get the underside that dry. But what I do want to do is take this liner, and then you look down, pull it up, and then from the underneath, Make sure that in between the lashes, and it will make the eyeliner actually look stronger. So the good thing is to just clean up here with a small brush. Blur the lid a little bit so it's drier, but it has that glow. I think we can do a little bit more here. Just a tiny bit in the lashes. So I'm looking, that's it. That's it. It's subtle, but it's there. So it's really buildable. You can kind of start on the outside and work your way in. And yeah, and stop where you want. It. Yeah, and if you're like, ooh, it looks a little strong, you just wipe it down mm -hmm. with a little bit of foundation and then blend it in. Oh, now we do the bottom lashes with a little lower lash brush. Oh my God, your lashes are so long here. So you only need mascara on the roots because if you put mascara all the way to the end, you're gonna have a big ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I like to do a lip line with a pencil first, do the lip color, and then I usually wipe away the lip line. So it's there to stop the lipstick traveling, but I don't want to see it. So I like to do that. Then take a lip brush, paint it in. That's it. And then you can add finger like this just in the middle you can pop a bit more color okay and then blush just softly on the apple of the cheek rather than a contour mm -hmm. and then what I do like to do is I take the foundation brush mm -hmm. and I just make sure it hasn't gone over to soften those edges hello Miss Gabby hi I love this modern elegant look that Joe gave you for your makeup Thank do you, you have thoughts on hair well, I'm thinking let's do a bun and maybe play around with some hairpins or flowers. Okay. That'd be nice. Yeah, so you want something fun. very elegant. Yeah. We are going to add some blowout balm and give it a little bit more shine and some grit for when we pin it. Spread it through the hair. Try to get it spread through evenly. Then I'm gonna go ahead and brush it through. And while I'm brushing it through, Let's find your natural part so we're not fighting it. So now I'm going to just pin a little bit out of the way. Literally just set that to the side. And I'm just gonna smooth this a little bit with the blowout balm in it. So I don't want too many pieces sticking out from our cute little bun that we're gonna have going on back here. So is this a good way to control frizz? Yes, for definitely a way to control frizz. It's also uh, closing down your your cuticle layer, so you're going to add more shine. The sunlight or the light of the flash is going to reflect off your hair. I'm careful not to put any creases in your hair because you don't want to make a little divot. And I'm really smoothing these ends. Even though these are going to be locked under then twirled around our, our look, I really want to 
finish these ends out and it'll make it easier for our structure. Spray the top a little bit and brush it across the crown, keeping my part in there. Okay, let's get this tight. Really combing the nape of your hair. Let's take a hair tie and really make this tight. Then we pull that through and then the last band, I'm leaving the hair, I'm not pulling the ponytail all the way through and I'm gonna leave it and start fanning this out and pulling it just a little bit because it's good to have this and tucked under and then this is going to go around. Then you spray it a little bit and then hit it with a dryer. Just to lock that in. And we're gonna take this excess hair and start forming it around our ponytail. Take your time with this because this is where things can go awry. <laughs> and all it is is twisting it around that ponytail and laying it flat and adding pins. But when you have layered hair, you have to just take a little more time so that it's nice and structured and it looks seamless. This is a little trick. I'm gonna take my flat iron and scoop it to give it the shape that I'm turning it in. And it also smooths it out. Just turning right around, those ends blend in. I got bobby pins that are flocked and very, very dull. So I can lock this in and you can't see them. That's just two so far. Now I'm just using, I use some bobby pins and then just some hair pins. And I'm placing them around. You just smooth up and then place them there. And then you can push the hair over it a little bit. And that way you won't see them. Touch of spray. Ah, sleek and classic. It's oh. timeless, I love it. Timeless, exactly. And then I would like to give her a gift of a little flower to finish off I love that. this beautiful look. Under here and put another bobby pin in. Beautiful. And that is our bridal look for Miss Gabby.